Yesterday we went to a Japanese prime steakhouse in the Pilsen neighborhood of Chicago called Holu. I had heard about this place from a lot of friends who had eaten here and just heard good things about it, so I couldn't wait to go. It's inside a marketplace that has an Asian market. You can either enter Holu from the inside of the mall or from the street side. The decor inside was beautiful. They cook some of your food on the table at this little grill that you see here in the center of the table. They had it decorated beautifully with fresh flowers on every table for Mother's Day. We started out with cocktails, and what I loved about the cocktail menu is that the drinks had unique names and ingredients, but next to each drink, they listed a more recognizable drink that you could compare it to. Mr. got a zero-proof margarita, Mom got a mule, and I got an old-fashioned, but of course it had its own names that the restaurant had given it, but they were recognizable to drinks you'd be more familiar with. The first course, they brought out some of these pickled vegetables like cabbage and cucumber, which were delicious. And then we were given this rice with a quail egg and salmon roll, and then a miso soup as a palate cleanser for after eating the rice. Before you eat the rice, they told us to stir it, and this was really delicious. The rice was like a sticky sushi rice. The next course was a simple salad with a delicious dressing, and then we had this seafood treasure platter that had everything and anything on it. Crab legs, lobster tail, scallops, prawns, oysters. It was so fresh and delicious. The next course was the sushi course and they brought out these two sushi rolls that were the beef wrapped around sushi rice with eel, caviar, and some gold flake. It was beautifully presented and super fresh and delicious. That beef was like butter. Next was the sashimi platter with three different kinds of tuna. Each one was better than the next. They did this whole dry ice thing, which was super fun. When I tell you that this sushi was like butter, I'm not kidding. It literally melted in your mouth. It was just some of the best fish I've ever eaten in my life. I could have eaten 20 pieces of this stuff. Next, we ordered the steak tartare with caviar. Those are taro chips. And then we got some beef dumplings that were beautifully presented and equally as delicious. We had lobster fried rice. This stuff, Oh my gosh, this stuff was just so amazing. We really love this. Next up were all of the different meat courses. So the server comes to the table and he primes the grill with a piece of fat from the beef. And then he grilled these thin pieces of the Japanese beef. And when they were done cooking on both sides, he rolled it up and he dunked it in a bowl that had some fresh egg yolk and soy sauce, which you'll see here in a minute. He then placed it over these little mounds of sushi rice and cut it into two pieces. So we had four pieces all together. And I'm telling you, one bite of this was enough. It was so rich and delicious. It was like eating butter, like meat butter. Then they brought out all the different varieties of meats that the restaurant offers. Now we chose a variety sampler option. You can order any of these steaks or these cuts of meat separately by the ounce and have them grill that, but we wanted to try a little bit of everything since it was our first time. They ask you how you want your meat prepared. We said medium rare, more on the rare side, and they cook the meat to your liking right at the table. They also grill up vegetables for you. He had those mushroom caps there that produced like a broth in the center, and they gave us the special salt for the meat and for the vegetables, but he told us to sprinkle the salt in those mushroom caps and eat it as one bite, and it was really flavorful. Every single one of these meats was delicious. They gave you a special dipping sauce that they make in-house for the meat, but some of this meat, you would just want to eat it. You don't even want to dip it in anything. Some of our favorites were the short rib and, of course, the filet mignon. And we also really liked this cap steak that they had, which I don't even think I've ever heard of. It was incredible. The person cooking walks you through every stop and describes the different types of meat they have and how they're best cooked and just the flavors in them and where they come from. We really enjoyed this part of it. While it doesn't look like a lot of food, we were really stuffed when we left here, but not in a bad way. We just had such a nice taste of everything. Of course, we ended with this delicious cheesecake for dessert, and I had a glass of wine. Maybe two glasses. I cannot recommend this place enough. It was incredible.